Once upon a time, after a great war, magic was lost to the world. To defeat monster kind, the humans sealed them away using a powerful spell. One that locked all magic deep in the realm of dreams. Monsters longed to return home. Back to a world of certainty, a place that was true. They rejected dreams, fearing they would never be real again. They lost their hope. And over time, they began fading away. The king could not protect his people from their sadness, but he vowed to do whatever it took to return their hope. Trapping human souls to save the souls of his own. His love became a great burden, and slowly, his dreams of salvation turned into nightmare. One day, the final soul awoke in the ruins of their old city. The caretaker did her best to provide a warm home for the child. But the ruins contained a terrible peril one that the caretaker would not risk on one so young. So she taught the human all she could and set them out on their journey to return to the human world. There was no turning back, but the child remained determined to make her proud. They befriended many monsters and had many adventures choosing to show mercy and hope on their travels. They were guided with joy and love on their quest to see the king. Soon, they would be home. The king welcomed them as he had others before. But this one was different. It is an ironic fate that the last soul caught in the king's trap was the hardest one to catch. Again, again, and again. You try again and again 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 persevering obstinate spiteful you are determined I understand. You care so deeply. And now you are deeply afraid. You could have been happy. If only you had the strength to survive. Our pain is the same. Shall I hold it for you? You aren't alone anymore. I will guide you to the end. I will show you love. I will give you hope. 
I will bring you freedom. You will finally find peace. And together, we will save everyone. We will erase all the pain. We will erase everything. <laughs> Sons, breakfast is ready. Your laziness is impressive as ever. I'd expect nothing less. Come, brother. We are eating at the table, not the couch. I hope you weren't up all night reading that silly book. Ah, perhaps go easy on me. You never like my jokes, so I gotta find new material. No one asked you to. Who's the one who always complains that they're bored? Me, because being home all day is boring. Your jokes will not remedy that. Uh, come on, can't be that bad. Being allowed to lounge around all day. Perhaps you're living my... <coughs> Dream, I know. You say that terrible pun every time. Enough of that. It's time to eat. My newest masterpiece. <laughs> oh, uh... What was that? Thanks, bro. Spaghetti again, huh? Of course, it is the superior breakfast food. Made with maximum care and affection. Hmm... Maybe a little too much. Are you patrolling with your dog friends today? Yep, it's gonna be a real bark at the old tree. I can't wait to meet them someday. Mm-hmm. They will be so impressed with how cool of a skeleton I am. The coolest. <laughs> Okay, I'm off. 
Sons, don't drop your clothes on the floor. Honestly, what am I to do with you? <sighs> I'll be back in a few hours. Stay out of trouble, all right? Says you. A nine tells me she keeps finding you asleep at your post. Lazy bones. Ah, come on, Paps. You know she thinks blinking is napping on the job. Well, I've seen you take a blink for five minutes. You know, if it were me tossed with capturing humans, I would work tirelessly to develop the greatest puzzles in all the realm. Even the great Dr. Alphys would be impressed. Oh, I wish you could take me with you today. I'm just a sentry, Paps. It's not all that exciting. But it gets so boring here. And there it is. I want to play with a human! But I think you got the wrong idea of what a sentry does. One day I'll be a great royal guard captain like Undyne. Strong and brave. They'll better even be as tall as you. <laughs> Taller, I bet. Well, he ain't there yet. So be good and stay put, okay, baby tooth? See you soon. Okay, bye, Sons. Try to stay awake today. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. I am not a baby tooth! So, Undyne's been blabbing on me. Why is she going to making him worry like that? Paps is as passionate with his lectures as ever. <laughs> Guess some things really don't change. Someone there? Hey, D. Just me. Oh, hey, sons. Wow, you're actually on time today? Nah, I got a reputation to uphold, you know. I'm gonna use your roof for a bit. Sure. With your brother away for training or whatever, I thought you'd take up some of the slack around here. I am. I'm a professional slacker, you know. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. Sure it is. I have a lot of experience in the field. Oh, I bet. I'm so good, I could even do it with my... Eyes closed. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that one. You really need new material. Hey, now. Repetition is my specialty. It's classic comedy, you know? More like classic sons. Lazy and cheesy. Aw, you flatterer. At least someone appreciates my hard work around here. <laughs> See ya. Is that a human? Whoops! Almost ruined my entrance. That surprised me. Well, let's see what kind of human we got. Perhaps he's gonna be so jealous. I'll just take a closer look. Why are they just sitting there? Weird. Human! I mean, it's rude to keep a new friend waiting, you know? Why so blue? Whoa, hey now, no need for that. I suggest you put that away. 
<laughs> before someone gets hurt. You're a jumpy one. This ain't really how I like a conversation, you know. Not at all my style. So, how's about I let you try that again, hmm? See? Easy peasy. That's just having a bit of fun. You can relax. You should have seen the look on your face, though. Classic. Yeah. Jeez, loosen up a little. What are they teaching kids these days? Surely you've seen a skeleton before. You know, just between you and me, it's really nothing to be losing our heads over. <laughs> See, you do have a funny bone. <laughs> the name's Sanj. Sanj the Skeleton. Welcome to the Realm of Dreams. A place where literally anything you can imagine is possible. Nice to meet ya. Frisk, huh? You're alright. You know, it's supposedly my job to capture humans, but it's not really my style. I'm more interested in catch... ...ing... Uh, ...catching... ...ing... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Z's. I'd much rather catch Z's. Anyways, what's with you hanging around this door? As much as I appreciate a good waste of time, it's gonna get you snowware, you know? I don't think this door's been open from this side in decades. Even the king tried to open the seals once, a long time ago, and he failed. Heard he fell on his butt. <laughs> Hilarious. So yeah, never heard of anyone getting in once they've left, so... Guess it's a one-way ticket kind of deal. Mm. Uh, hey, as cool as you are, I know you don't want to sleep in the cold. How about I give you some advice, yeah? If you keep on this path, you'll find a town. It's got warm beds, warm food, and enough cheer to warm everything else. It's like something out of a dream. Trust me. <laughs> well, you're the best audience I've had all day. But my work here is done. No need for me to stick around. <laughs> Good meeting you, pal. I'll be rooting for you out there. <laughs> they got all whoopee cushion in the hand trick. <laughs> See you around, pal. such a good job, Steady. With this, my ultimate trap is nearly complete. Perfect! If only there was someone to capture. Hmm. Ah, it's that annoying canine again! No! My maze! Get back here! You could have at least tried the wheels of terror first! No! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you're so annoying! Guess our trap will have to wait for another time. What should we do now? Nah. Nope. I run again. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Uh, so bored. This island is far too small for my great ambitions. Stell, surely this counts as an emergency. I've always wondered what Snowden is like. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe we can find you a stick or something. You big log. Customer, welcome. What can I get for you? Judy's. You knew the Snowden, darling? Don't think I've seen you here before. How wonderful. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face. You here with your parents? Oh, I see. If you need a place to stay, my sister runs the inn next door. Tell her I sent you. She'll give you a discount, okay? You can feel at ease, dear. We monsters in Snowden are very welcoming, you know? And it's so peaceful here. Well, apart from those two wacky skeletons. You can sit and watch their antics for hours. I heard the tall one went off somewhere, so I miss it. Oh well. It was a joy meeting you, sweetheart. Stop by any time, okay? Best of luck now. Ugh! He has stripes! This is where we put the present! And <laughs> we got here! Yay! Bye bye I'm home. Sons! Welcome back. Hey there, cool dude. How was your day? I worked out my ultimate trap this morning. Awesome. But the rest of the day was... so... boring. Sorry to hear that, bud. But I bet a visit to Dr. Alphas will cheer you up, right? Wowie! Well, we... It's that time already? Yep, right now. You ready? What? Not right now? Wait, wait, wait. Stay there. I have to show her the puzzle I completed. I gotta get it. Oh, why didn't you warn me? You always do this. <laughs> oh! Hello? We're here! Oh, I love this place! It's different every time! One day I'll be a great scientist like Dr. Alphys and build big puzzles like this one! What happened to being a royal guard? I'll do that too! Dr. 
Dr. Office! Dr. Office! Hello, Dr. Office! Hey, Doc. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. This is Zans. Dr. Office! Look, look! I finished the puzzle you gave me. Wow, already! That was fast. This one was actually one of my harder ones. Really? Yeah, really! Today, you can take a couple more home after your checkup, okay? Yippee! Let's go, let's go! Alright, alright. <laughs> Sons, we won't be long. We'll talk about the results afterwards, okay? Yeah, thanks, Alf. Damn, that kid's energetic. Speaking of... Wonder what the other one is up to. Staying out of trouble. They seem like a good kid. Why do they always have to be so good? Dear, it's time to get up. Time to go. Time to find your way home. There is nothing left for me to teach you, so this is where we have to say goodbye. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you that this was a good dream. That I could keep you safe. But the rest is up to you now. Promise me you will not lose your way. As we have lost ours. Because you still hold the ability to dream. The ability to hope for the future. Please, leave this place. And don't come back. It's scary, isn't it? Being alone. Wanting to go back to how things used to be. You promised. You promised me you wouldn't become like us. Why haven't you found your way? Home. You will return us home. We're done! But Papyrus, why don't you go pick out your new puzzles while I see your brother, okay? You remember where they are, right? Yep! <sighs> Thanks, Dr. Office! You're the best! Oh, <laughs> gosh, you're welcome! Uh, okay, this is gonna be quick. Make yourself comfy. Mm -hmm. Wowie, I found so many good puzzles. I bet Dr. Alphys will be impressed. <laughs> but, um... Where am I?
This place really does change a lot. Left, maybe? Intruder detected! Is that... Metaton? Oh, a fan! Metaton, is that really you? The one and only, darling. No one else attracts the spotlight quite like me. It's a dead giveaway. Metaton, you're my favorite robot. I have all your figures and posters. Oh, ooh, a super fan. Tell me, darling, which broadcast of mine do you find most spectacular? Um, Holly, it's hard to choose just one. Uh, probably dramatic action poses with a killer robot. Me, it's my most striking, excellent choice, spectacular. You have impeccable taste for one so young. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Mr. Metaton, there are times when my brother is away and I miss him a lot. But when I see you on the TV, I think it's not so bad. You're always there to show me amazing new things. Thank you. Oh, a poet and a flatterer. You are far too precious to be here in such a dreary lab. Come along, I shall escort you safely through these mazes. Metaton, are you here to see Dr. Alphys too? As a matter of fact, I am. As if the poor doctor didn't have enough on her plate. It seems another human has finally appeared. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. A human? Oh dear. Well, um, this is a secret between you and me, all right? So we can't cause a panic. A secret? Right. No panic. A secret between me and Metaton. <laughs> Alphys, dear, are you here? I found something strange wandering your corridors. Uh oh! Meta M Metaton! Papyrus? <laughs> well, welcome back. Son, do you won't believe it? Look who it is! Ah, oh, this must be Big Brother Lazybones. Hey. I've just heard so much about you. I need no introduction, but pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, likewise. Sons, 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 look at all the puzzles. There were too many to choose from, so I just took them all. And then I lost my way back, but it's okay because Mr. Metaton found me and helped me through the maze of the lab, which is really so cool. And then we found you, and I think I'm the luckiest skeleton ever that I even figured out the secret to the greatest trap, and I even got friends with my idol, and... And this is the best day ever! Thank you, Mr. Metaton, sir. No need to thank me. How wonderful to meet one so healthily obsessed with stardom. Stellar work, Brother Lazybones. Keep practicing your twirls, darling. There can never be too many stars in the sky. But of course, I will always be the most dazzling. <laughs> Here's a new pose I've been working on. Like this? Absolutely perfect. You're a natural. How about this one? It's a spin duck pose. <laughs> Ooh, I should use that in my next show. This can't be a good influence. <laughs> Come on, Paps, we should get going. Bye bye, Mr. Metaton, sir. See you soon, Dr. Office. Farewell, young star. Until we meet again. The next day. Why can't I solve this stupid puzzle? Mm, yeah. 
this is no fun. I wonder if the human is in Snowden right now. I don't want to make Sons angry, but I'm so bored. It has to count as an emergency, right? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we play hide and seek? I'll count. One. Two. Three. Four. In just a few minutes. Wowie. So this is Snowden. Woohoo! Human, come out and play. Human. Human! Where are you? Wait, what does a human even look like? Hey, does that kid remind you of anyone? Oh yeah! That red scarf really stands out, huh? Aw, that's adorable. He's dressed like that tall skeleton, right? Guess he was always popular with the kids. Such a loud personality, I'm not surprised. Um, hello? Do I know you? Wait, where are we going? Hey! Why? Ah, uh, we running. Uh, why did you grab me so suddenly? Um, excuse me? Could it be that you want to be my friend? Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, are we a new friend? I was looking for someone, but I can do that later. Do you want to play? What's your name? Frisk. Nice to meet you, new friend Frisk. My name is Papyrus. Do you like puzzles? I think I saw some in the forest we can explore. Siren. You all right over there? Hey, you want to take a look through this telescope? I was just finishing up. Oh, okay. Oh, yours, kid. Wow! Wow! It's really something, huh? I always wondered if it holds up to the real thing. Apparently, humans can use stars to navigate their way home, or even understand their place in the universe. It's pretty incredible, right? That real stars could tell you all that. My sister used to wonder what real stars look like, too. She wondered if we were real at all. I think that's what made her so sad. I... 